In this video I'm going to review the Marbero 200 watt portable solar panel, but I'm not going to do a normal test. I'm going to torture test this thing in a way that the manufacturer never expected this thing to be used. And in doing so, I want to explain why. For years I've been going to a yearly off-grid camping trip with friends, and there has always been one thing that I've never been able to overcome, and that's keeping the beer cold. After two days, someone's always running down to town for ice. This led me to purchase a portable, battery-powered electric cooler. It originally came with a 90-watt folding solar panel, but after years of it getting blown over in the wind, I think it broke. So when it came time to replace it, I upgraded to this 200-watt unit. I didn't want to repeat what happened to the last panel, which was to set it up on its legs and wait for the wind to blow it over, and I didn't want to spend all day moving the panel to face the sun. Camping is for relaxing and I wanted to try something different. My plan this time was to mount the panel to the top of an awning and see if it would just charge the cooler without me having to track the sun or basically deal with it at all. I attached the panel to the awning with ratchet straps using the carabiners that came with the panel, but you can see that the panel is bent and twisted. I think these panels are glass, so I was a bit worried, but I wanted to see what would happen. To my surprise, this panel not only took the abuse, it performed great in some very unideal situations. Even before the sun came up, just the ambient light was putting power into my cooler. With the old 90 watt panel, my cooler would be charged from zero to full in about four hours in direct sunlight. With 200 watts on tap, I have much more to play with. Day after day, the panel charged from early morning until the sun was nearly behind it. Since I've camped here many times, I knew what pattern the sun would take. This panel was able to charge my Blue Eddy A70, which had my cooler plugged into it most of the time. It was also able to charge my friend's Blue Eddy AC2A, cell phones, cameras, power banks, and all kinds of other stuff over the course of the day. After it charged all the power banks and Blue Eddies, I plugged it straight into the cooler and kept it topped off. The panel was a filthy mess at the end of a week's long trip, but I never had to even think about it. Day after day it did its job perfectly and the whole camp had plenty of power. If you're in the market for a solar panel, check out the link in the description below for more details. This might be the panel for you.